sure you guys got all the great stats from that second quarter. Uh, it, was, it was pretty darn challenging to overcome. Um, I don't know the historical on the points in the quarter, but the last one I remember, a team only scored four points in the third quarter was when the Detroit Shock were playing the Sacramento Monarchs in the finals. We held them to four in the third quarter uh, to win game four to bring it home to win the championship at home. That's the last time that I was on the right side of that one. Well, today we were on the wrong side of it. That was, that was pretty tough. Ten turnovers, six percent shooting. Uh, that was tough. That was tough. So that was obviously tough to overcome. One every other quarter, um, but very clearly we are a work in progress. What do you think the root cause of the second quarter problems were? Well, I thought that uh, shot selection overall wasn't great. Our movement was minimal. Um, they kept saying it, you know, like they knew, you know, that we weren't getting the, the cutting that we were really accustomed to doing. Um, you know, we did a little more just kind of standing and, you know, and I think just started to press. And then it was like, okay, I'll fix it for us. And somebody would go in there and, and take a hard shot. But when we got open shots, we didn't make them. So it was one of those things where it just snowballs, you know, it gets contagious and they get a little frustrated. Then you don't defend because you're in transition D for 10 minutes. For an entire second quarter, we were in transition defense. Um, so I think that's, that's something that they'll tell you. Uh, the turnovers were, I mean, that, that's just kind of, I mean, that had to be really frustrating to watch, you know, turnover after turnover after turnover, <clears throat> trying to throw over the top of hands, you know. And that was, you know, big key to the game. You know, we, we talked about that for this team. Um, you know, we, we want to be a team. We had 12 turnovers last time we played these guys. Um, I didn't necessarily go into the game thinking it was going to be a problem. And, and uh, you know, just give them credit. You know, Chicago was aggressive and long and hit us physically and, uh, you know, just had us out of sorts. It looked like in the second half, you know, other players didn't have the ball, did a much better job coming to get the ball. You yeah. know, Jess especially. When, yeah. when you, I mean, maybe it's hard right now, but how, how much of – you know, the off-ball movement to come and get the ball and, and leaving point guards on an island. Yeah, and was, it happened. It, it happened just in, the pass. Yeah, it happened in Canada, too. You know, we talked about that. We were, we were leaving people out there just facing pressure. Um, I think a little bit of it is, um, you know, I think an earlier action, uh, because we were playing a largely, um, you know, they were, they were, I think they were 50% at one point. Like, so a lot of offense for them. So we're taking the ball in the net, and so, um, earlier offense, a little more flow. You know, we had we had some of those possessions in the second half. We really locked in on. We got more cutting, and we got more sharing of the ball. Um, our, our pick and roll offense, you know, just was not good. Um, we knew they were going to hedge, and our just our reads and our finds, you know, just just didn't happen for us. And then with feedback to 100% for the first time in two years, just. What did you see from her? How would you assess her performance as a whole? I'd say exactly what I thought, uh, and that she's still getting there. Um, you know, finding her way. Um, you know, we just talked about this. You know, with our with our coaches that, you know, Fee kind of working from the perimeter. Um, you know, to find her offense is new for her, and we have to sort of be patient and, and make this an evolution. You don't want to, you know, have one game and it didn't go like you wanted to do, and then and you go and you and you, and you kind of tear down the house. We have to. You know, we have to, you know, just find ways and we have to learn about them in terms of our identity and, you know, try to find actions that help them. But we're, we're still learning. I, I, there's so much that I don't know about our team um, in terms of, you know, what else can we give them. Uh, we'll, we'll just try to experiment with different things. And, and uh, you know, I think Fee, I, I like that she found her way into the paint off of some of the, um, you know, perimeter stuff where she would get a screen, you know, dive in there and post. And so I've, that's more posting up that she's done probably in training camp. And so I was happy to see her, you know, getting into that place. And then she's got to play against bigger players down there, you know. And so uh, there were times when that went okay. Other times, you know, can she kick it out? You know, that's what we saw. I thought we challenged a lot. It felt like they had a lot more block shots than we did, but we finished with the same. You know, that was, that was surprising to us. But, um, yeah, that's just, you know, the, the steals, the 14 steals and the, what, the eight blocks. That's a lot. Um, so, you know, we just we just got to play cleaner basketball. Cheryl, you mentioned you're still learning uh, yeah. each other. But in that, particularly in that second quarter, too, it looked like at times when offensively players didn't really seem to know which plays you're running. Or there was yeah. a lot of some confusion out there. What, well what said. Would you, what would you attribute that to? Um, you know, and it's, it's what we said. Like, we need, we need someone that's going to take command. 
we need somebody that's going to kind of go, hey, you know, like, this is what we're going to run, right? And so, you know, our point guard situation obviously is, is one, as we know, um, you know, Rachel's not really a point guard. And then Tiffany Mitchell's, as we know, you know, you guys kind of jinxed us. Uh, we, <laughs> we, we uh, you know, had gotten better play. Um, but it's a harder game. I mean, you know, Chicago's done a lot of games with their defense. They're, they, they're really long and athletic. And um, so there's no shame in that. I think it's just more of the, the silly trying to, you know, we talked about this, stop throwing over the top. We did it in practice. We keep trying to tell them, you stop throwing over the top. We play against the guys. The guys do the same darn thing. Um, so hopefully we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just keep improving with that. Um, uh, you know, just leadership, somebody taking command. I think that's probably the biggest thing. They all were saying the right things in terms of, hey, we're not moving, we're standing, you know, but, but um, you know, the, we were all saying it and, and, and nobody was really, you know, fixing it. Um, so I have to look at that. I got to look at in those moments, how can I help them to give them, you know, um, you know, call it a safe word or something where we go, okay, let's just get back to doing something really basic that we know we'll be really good at. And, and that's just probably not something we have right now. Uh, that was my biggest takeaway, that I've got to be able to help them more in those difficult moments to at least get to the foul line, you know, like get us get us something a little bit easier. When you are kind of playing this, this open style that depends on cutting and, and yeah. reading and reacting, how much of, of it is just chemistry needing to develop and, and people seeing it in a game? Yeah, I think chemistry is definitely a part of it. Um, we'll see different defenses, different, different coverages. Um, Again, I, I thought the biggest problem that we had, yeah, we didn't cut, but I just thought our pick and roll reads really, because that's where you get outnumbered, right? They're hedging. Now it's 5 on 4, and we just didn't get out of pick and rolls quickly. Um, you know, we're a team that likes to throw it back. You know, we're not, the team, we're not a team that likes to necessarily throw it in versus a hedge. We like to throw it out and then in or attack closeouts from that, and we just didn't. I thought that was the bigger thing. Um, yeah, I think I think the um, you know the fines and the cutting, um, you know, there was a little bit of ball pressure at the top, uh, so we couldn't necessarily make uh, passes on a, on a on a on a back cut. I think Diamond got one. Diamond needs to be a, a more active cutter. I thought she stood a little bit more than what she had been. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the uh, chemistry is probably a part of that, and just doing it more. You know, because obviously this is a very uh, what are we in week three? You know, of of trying to get things done. Can you take some uh, positives away from how you guys kept clawing back and you know chipping away at that the, their lead in yeah. the fourth quarter? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we climbed up from what were we shooting at halftime? Uh, so we had, a, I think, what did we shoot in the second half? Forty something, a little bit better, um, and that that obviously helped. You know, helps your defense a little bit. We we had a chance to try some things. Uh, you know, we played a little bit of, you know, pressure in the, in the backcourt. We, we played a little bit of zone, and that's what we want to do. You know, we want to kind of find out, like, what are we going to be good at, you know, as we get through this. And so, you know, the positives, um, certainly there are some. We won three quarters. Um, you know, second quarter, you know, just was, was, you know, kind of the death of us, so to speak. Um, um, yeah, we battled, right? And that's why I, I told, the, told the team we want to – you know, defining ourselves in terms of when people say you have chemistry, well, everybody comes out of training camp with great chemistry, right? Because nobody's mad yet. Nobody's mad about minutes. Nobody's mad about wins and losses. Everybody's still happy. Coaches are still happy. Um, uh, and the your defining moments are when it's tough, right? And it was tough for us, right? And so, you know, like you said, we, we did have those moments where, you know, we tried to try to get back in it. And turnovers virtually disappeared for you in the fourth quarter as well. I think all of them were in the third quarter prior. Yeah. Uh, what sort of adjustments um, with the uh, players handling the ball did you make in the fourth quarter, or is that just sort of a sense of getting over the hump of what you've been trying to do? Well, I, I, hope, I hope they started recognizing, like you know, like the, uh, some of the errors that we were making in the in the passing over the top. We we you know we stopped we stopped doing that. Um, did we move a little bit better? Maybe. Uh, again, they you know they they had to they played off more misses. Uh, you know that they scored what twelve, so that that you know certainly helps and. Uh, you know the overall um, the the battling. You know defensively. You know I mean I just think we weren't we were good. We weren't great. Um, some of our rotation, some of our technique, and our pick and roll coverage. You know the coaches have been telling me that um, that they've been 
you know, concerned about it, and man, did it show itself uh, today. So really both ends, just, just got some things to work on for sure. You mentioned Diamond a brief a bit briefly already, but just curious how you assess the debuts of your uh, two rookies in uh, Diamond and Darker tonight. Yeah, both of them had some had some good moments, right? Rookies rookies get thrown into the fire, and and you know they both want it. You know they both want to be in those situations, and you know obviously we're taking a long view with, with those two. You know throw them into the fire and and let them feel it. You know we gave Diamond a tough assignment guarding uh, Copper. We said we don't want to hide her from things. We want her to grow. Um, and and she just you know she'll take on any challenge that, that you that you give her and then certainly Dorka um, you know has has an agility about her that's I think a bit deceptive uh, her switches on the perimeter her guard uh, in a one on one you know had that nice block um, referees missed a away from the away from the play take foul I don't know if you guys saw that where you know that Dorka took off and they grabbed the back of her jersey that it is an away from the play take foul that they missed. So we should have shot one free throw. Obviously, and got the ball back. Uh, anyway, Dorka, Dorka, um, just confident. She's a confident, mature person. Yeah. Is this a team? Good to see you back, Jeff. Good to be back. Yeah. I miss this place. <laughs> uh, is this a team that is just having to get used to each other and build an identity? For sure. Where are we at? One thousand percent. One thousand percent. You know, so um, the locker room is disappointed. Um, you know, we play at home. You, you know, you want to you want to play great, um, and so they're disappointed. And you know, a lot of the stuff that we did, it was just you know, they know better in some of those turnovers, and, and you know, and obviously didn't feel very good to only score three points. Is that a record? Does anybody know? Um, do you guys get any stats on it? No. Well, Swanson didn't tell you guys anything yet. No. Anybody else? All right. Thanks, everybody. See you Tuesday.